So, Donald Love, uh, how's the how's the break been? Oh uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been nice to get a bit of um, rest into the legs and um, ready to go again this weekend. You had quite a few absent for international duty. Is that a good thing? Yeah, definitely, because they're getting the recognition they deserve because they've been playing well, and then um, it's good for the club and it's good for them and good for everyone, really, yeah. Have they all come back fit and well? Uh, well today's their first day back in, so yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Does it seem like a long time since the last game and that, that really good win over Salford? Um, it does, but it's also nice to get the rest and um, even just mentally everyone can go away, relax for a few days and then you come back in ready to go again. Because I suppose it was quite intense before the break, wasn't it? A lot of Saturday-Tuesday games. Yeah, the start of the season now it's like it's ridiculous because it's, you start with Saturday-Tuesday for the first four weeks and it's basically to try and wear you down, but it's nice to get the break and... Um, yeah, hopefully we go and show that the rest was good for us this Saturday. Yeah, you mentioned this Saturday, it's Gillingham away. A pretty tough test to come back to, isn't it, top of the table? Yeah, definitely. You can see what type of team they are. They've won quite a few games 1-0, so we're going to have to go there and be cute about what we're doing. Um, hopefully we can get our first away win. Yeah, you mentioned the first away win. There's this bizarre sort of difference, isn't there, between the, the two away defeats and this really good home form? Yeah, definitely. I can't, probably can't put your finger on what it is, but... Um, Hopefully we can sort that out this weekend and um, we'll get the win. And also at home, you mentioned Gillingham winning games in a, by a tight margin. You're conceding very few at home. It's about replicating that away, isn't it? Yeah, I think even I think Mansfield is a bit different. But if you look at Harrogate, that was a a nil nil game really because it was a penalty and a, a free kick which they put in from well, when Faz got sent off, but um, which was never even it wasn't a penalty, it wasn't a free kick. So if you take them to start the game, it's a it's a nil nil game, and we've not that's another game where we've not where we've kept another clean sheet. But um, yeah, we are pretty solid overall. Yeah, that Harrogate game feels like a very long time ago, but it was probably the most frustrating of the season, wasn't it? Because you go there in high hopes yeah. against a team that's struggling, and it just didn't click, and, and, and things happened on the day. Didn't yeah, they? definitely. I think obviously the ref didn't help us that day, but um, that's what we've got to go and learn off that, and um, hopefully we can perform this weekend. What do you make of the start to the season so far then? Are, are, you, are you happy with how things have gone? Yeah, positive. Uh, it's nice to get points on the board early and um, obviously at home we've been really good and um, if we can sort out ourselves away from home and um, go and do what we do at home, will we? Perfectly fine. How different has it been from last season in League One? Because obviously it's League Two, it's a standard below, but yeah. wins were so hard to come by, weren't they, last season? Yeah, some of the, if you look at Ipswich there, they've got practically the same squad in there pushing for promotion in the Championship, so that's the type of teams we were coming up against. And um, obviously I think we've just got more of a get more of a chance of winning this league and we show that if we have a go, we can go and win. Yeah, just before the break, James Connolly came in, didn't he, for the suspended Farron Rolson. Yeah. Did really well, didn't he? Yeah. Took a bit short notice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think it shows we've got two people in every position now, which um, is good competition and... Um, I think it keeps whoever's playing on the toes and um, we've got that all over the pitch so if you're not performing you're not going to play and if we show the lads that out of the squad that they might have a chance getting in. Yeah, how important is that competition? I was going to ask that and you sort of touched yeah. on it already to have that feeling that you know, you're know you not guaranteed your place. Yeah, I think it's, you need it in every in every team. I think no one no one in this team is guaranteed a, a game and um, it's a long season so you're going to have highs, you're going to have lows. It's a young team as well so it's going to be a lot more of the, you'll have a good game, you'll have a bad game, and um, we just need to make sure that when everyone, whoever's playing out there in the eleven, performs, no matter who it is. You said it's a very young team. I don't want to call you a veteran, but you are one of the sort of older members yeah, of the team. Wouldn't. How much responsibility do you feel? You know, being captain as well. It, it, as you say, they're, they're going to be up and down, and just just chiving them along, really. Yeah, I just try and keep it positive, and um, obviously we've got quite a few senior lads in the change room who are good, and. Um, Learned a lot from doing doing it last year. It was a lot tougher last year doing it, but um, this year hopefully it'd be easier if we're getting a lot more wins. Do you think the balance is about right then, do you think, in, in, in the squad? Yeah, it's good. It's obviously a young team, but um, they're all young, hungry, and they want to run. And um, In this league, that's what you you really need to go and win games. I think the manager said before that with younger players, they're, they're, they're really eager to learn and, and they're probably easier to coach, I suppose, in some um, ways. Is that, is, that, is that your experience from sort of coming through the ranks in your um, career so far? Yeah, they're just, um, I'm not saying hungrier than the older lads, but they've got, they want to go out there and um, 
prove themselves a lot more and um but that comes with you'll probably see them have highs and lows during the season where the senior lads will probably be more on a consistent basis, but that just comes with playing more games and um the more games for them the better and um hopefully them coming here doing it'll improve them. Get money for your old phone,